to make a really great cut and then left her on the doorstep of the Audubon Society. So they were able to rehab her, but uh, she was already imprinted on humans, so wasn't able to be released back into the wild. Um, because of her imprinted on humans, we want to make sure that she stayed safe as well as people. Um, so she came to us, so she's here to help us promote our conservation fund here in our park. Oh, that's great. So she's got a nice safe home here. That's right. Great. Thank you. No problem. intercoastal waterways around Texas all the way around to the southern part of Florida. And just like flamingos, they get their coloration from the food they eat. Mm. Being a water bird, they squish their bill back and forth through the water. Very sensitive nerve endings to pick up algae, crustaceans, and fish. Yeah, Avian friend here. Sure, this is my buddy Elmo. He is a yellow crowned Amazon. They're native to South America. He's about 11 years old. And this species has a lifespan of about 60 to 80 years. They're very long that they give a wave. Slow motion wave. Very <laughs> cute. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, his name is Percy. He's a tawny frog mouth. They're native to Australia and Tasmania. Um, they're actually related to whippoorwills. So they would naturally eat a lot of insects. Their mouth is wide and yellowified, just like a frog's mouth. They attract insects with the yellow and they use all these little feathers that protrude off his beak as feelers. This is Scout. She is about a year and a half old possum. Uh, she is actually a rescue. Her mom had been hit by a car. And she was found in the pouch and taken to the Bush Wildlife Sanctuary in Jupiter, Florida, where they did check her out and found out that she was perfectly healthy. Uh, but because they didn't have any other possums to foster her, they had to hand raise her, so that's why she's been, uh, we kept her in a facility. They needed space for animals that needed help, called us, and we gladly took her. So we've had her for a little over a year, uh, about a year and five months now. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Hello, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the reptiles that you have here? Sure can. This is an Argentinian tegu. This is a bearded dragon. This one's from South America. There's an Argentinian and a Colombian version. Uh, four different species, uh, mostly differentiated by colors. They're uh, semi-arboreal, so they'll, they'll climb up into scrubs and, and lower hanging trees. But mostly they hang out on the ground and they like to burrow down in the bark. They'll eat uh, eggs, insects, some small mammals sometimes. For the most part, they're not very aggressive. Uh, they have strong legs for digging and evading prey and predators. They are a monitor lizard, so they're related to things like the Komodo dragon along those lines. Bearded dragons um, from Australia. There's actually seven different species known of. They're all very fairly similar, um, different, different in a little bit of ways. But uh, when they're younger, from about six months to a year, they're mostly insectivorous. They eat small insects and a little bit of vegetation. Once they're about a year old or so, after that, they're pretty much vegetarians for the rest of their lives. And they're what's known as uh, probably the most tame, naturally tame reptile out there. So we often recommend them as great first pets for educational purposes and responsibility. They just this is pretty much what they do in the wild, hang out, sun, and eat vegetation. Very good, <laughs> thank are, you. Oh, no problem. These are both, uh, uh, we adopted these animals, so we use them as uh, interaction animals a lot. So they're our, they're our animal ambassadors. Us. And marmosets, they're from Brazil, and they are the second smallest monkey in the world. So fully grown, they're just about nine ounces. Uh, these two are about five months old, so they still have oh, yeah. a little bit of growing left to do. They're going to about double in size. Um, and then if you look at their ear tufts, they're going to look a little well, bit differently when they're adults too. They turn like a bright white color. So since they're still young, they still have all kind of one color right now. Very cute. And they look like little active uh, animals. They are, yes. They kind of, they're like children. They have, you know, their energy spurts. And then they sleep for a little and kind of just relax. And then they have their spurts of energy and then they relax. So. <laughs> yeah, very good. Thank you. <laughs>